What's going on, my peoples, man? I'm just here, man, chilling, um, sipping on some coffee, getting ready to go to work and stuff like that, you know? Just, you know I do, get some, some time to myself before I go to work. But, um, I gotta do this video, man, because I gotta clarify some things. Um, I know there's a lot of people following me now, so I gotta, um, get some, get some things straight. Um, First of all, you guys know how I preach that um, local trucking is pretty good and um, you guys can make really good money when it comes to local trucking, right? But it's been a lot of people reaching out to me that they just got their CDL and um, they want to come to local right away. And I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, guys, and um anybody got any inputs can go ahead and leave a comment I still believe that um, when you get your CDL you can um, you should go OTR to get some experience I would recommend six months to a year at least get some experience over the road it's gonna be easier for you to get that local job and it also gonna be it's a it's a better decision to go over the road first because um, you're gonna have time to think about what you really want to do in trucking. You know, um, you might go over the road. You might end up liking it. And you might end up want to stay out there. And you might go over the road and you want and you might end up liking it so much that you want to be an owner operator. If you guys don't experience that, you will never know. You know what I mean? Um, I started over the road. Most guys that I work with right now start over the road. And a lot of my friends that work for US Food start over the road. Um my homeboy at McLean, he started over the road. So over the road is not a bad thing once you're trying to get some experience and once you're trying to get it all together, trying to figure out what you really want to do, you know? It's just like in our world, it's just like going to college. Like you go get your experience, um, figure out what you really want to do, and then you go and do it. There are cases where a lot of guys, when they get their CDL, they went local right away. And those cases are kind of, those cases are kind of uncommon. I do know a lot of guys that got their CDL and went local right away. And um, they're pretty successful with it. You know, but um, I would say to most guys um, that's, and, and these are guys that's going to those, um, getting their CDL on their own, that's going to those technical colleges or those little CDLs, um, schools in their hometown, community college and stuff like that. I'm talking to those guys because those guys it, are not the guys that's going through the mega carriers where you have to go on the road with them for like a year or so, something like that. I went with Swift. And um, this was years ago. I went through Swift to get my CDL, and the the training and the training that I got was really worth it. Um, learning how to drive at nights, learning how to drive through the mountains and stuff like that. Learn how to drive in the winter. Just, just like the training that you get when you go over the road is just, you will not get that just going local right away. You know what I mean? So as much as you guys hear me talk about local trucking, I still would recommend you guys to um, go OTR just to get that experience. At least six months. If you guys really don't want to be out there that long, at least give it six months and um, then start applying for those local jobs that you really want. 
because a lot of a lot of um these good companies anyway they're gonna want you to have experience guys you know especially these good jobs they're gonna want you to have experience walmart they require you to have so many years of experience um it's a lot of companies that require you if it's even some companies that require you to have two years worth of driving experience and you got to get this experience somewhere and most of the most of the jobs that's going to hire you right away is over the road company like when you guys just start out don't worry about the money because you're not going to get paid good otr you're just not just just think about the experience and if you get that good money then that's a plus you know um we can sit here all day and we can tell you what company to go to, OTR, what company you're going to make decent money with, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, that's all debatable. You know, some guy's going to tell you Prime. Some guy's going to tell you Stevens. Some guys are going to tell you Swift. You know, I would tell you Swift all day because that's where I went. You know, that doesn't mean that my company, the company that I went through is better than Prime or is better than Stevens. At the end of the day, you're getting that experience that you guys need to succeed that's the most important thing and the reason I'm putting this video out here because I've been getting so much emails on guys that just want to um, get their CDL and jump in local work right away and that's a good thing don't get me wrong that's a good thing you know but like I just don't want like guys to come out here and get those local jobs that don't require no experiment experience and it's a lot of crappy ass local jobs also you know there's many good local jobs but you have some crap ass local jobs that's still paying fifteen dollars an hour and stuff like that that won't even pay their drivers over seventeen dollars an hour and those are the type of jobs that you guys are probably going to end up getting with a few cases there are some food service companies that will train you guys and let get you guys going with minimum experience. And the reason I'm telling you guys six months because I know for sure that last time I read um US food requirements, they was requiring you to have six months experience. And there are some food service company that will train you with new CDL. But my recommendation would be just to avoid all that coulda woulda shoulda I would just go out there and get my experience it's not it's not that long guys like a year goes by like really quick and it's not like you it's not like you it's not like you um <clears throat> going OTR getting your experience and not getting paid you're getting paid while you're doing this yeah it's gonna be weeks where you only make four or five hundred dollars a week and um it's gonna be weeks where you getting paid six hundred dollars a week it, it, the checks aren't going to be that great. Like, nobody's going to tell you about this. But at the end of the day, it's just experience. You know what I mean? So, um, and this goes for all the guys, man, that, um, been emailing me. And, um, even, even, even if you guys never email me, even if you guys just pop, come across my video and think about getting your CDL, um, I would recommend going over the road first. And once you get that experiment, if you don't want to stay over the road, just go local, start applying. You know? Like, there's nothing wrong with going out there and getting that experience, you know, you guys. So, my <laughs> recommendation to you is just um, whatever um, local job you guys want to work with, just start researching it right now and see how much experiment experience they require and just go out there and go get that experience and as soon as you guys get close to that experience just start filling out the application and come local baby come make this money you know anybody got any questions go just go ahead and drop me a comment and i i, I get back to you guys i i try to answer most of my emails and i try to answer all my comments um, I do a good job on that and even if I don't get to my comments um, most of my day one subscribers they do a pre pretty good job of helping me out most of those guys that's already in food service that follow my channel 
they do a good job on helping me out, answering people's comments and stuff like that. So I appreciate all y'all, all my um day one subscribers. Um, I appreciate um that all my subscribers, man. I appreciate JV. Appreciate um Daz. He always follow me. I appreciate everybody that follows me, man. My fellow YouTubers, um, my fellow YouTubers, um, I appreciate appreciate all y'all, man. Roadrunner, um, um, Roadrunner, um, Rich the Trucker, Chris the Trucker, um, everybody, man, that's out here trying to help people. I appreciate all you guys, man. Island Trucker, just everybody that's out here trying to spread this message, man, and trying to help people. Cause we help people for free. Like we don't, we don't, like we don't ask for nothing. We don't need no money. And I appreciate all the woman um, YouTubers out there too, because you guys are out there, and you guys, the woman YouTubers, trucking YouTubers, you guys are out there, and you guys are showing like the other point of view from the female side. And you know, I appreciate that. You know. I appreciate everybody that take time out to just to help people. That's what it's all about, you know? So if you guys new to my channel, just go ahead and subscribe. You know, we're going to keep this journey growing. So y'all stay blessed.